a look at the latest uh, motor for 2017 from Motive called the MCR and this is a 17.5 turn one the MOV 101752S um, it, I'm going to compare it to the uh, R1 and the Fletter ZX V2 uh, the R1 V16 um, which we've looked at before but they the the latest and quickest motors around and um I've done the test basically on these before and uh, they'll be on the chart and I'll just have a look at this and then we can compare all the results. It comes in a tube a bit smaller than the R1 one and the flatter one obviously is in a high, very professional presentation. Uh much more obviously a very big company they can afford to do that. Um, these two are uh, like pro uh, boutique um, manufacturers. Anyway, the MCR comes in this tube and taking a look at it initially you can see it's one of the latest designs with the very large gaps for cooling. Uh, the wires are no plastic former so the wires are nice, nicely uh, exposed to the air flows to cool for cool them and uh, the construction is um, this one is a center can with a end bell end bell looking at the end uh, this one's very nice in that it's got uh, big open slots here for additional air flow which is very good uh, the end bell three screws for location centering which is good and there's a small hole you can see the end of the shaft sometimes that's blocked over single sensor connector a scale on the back here which goes from 20 to 50 only and uh, you can see the construction of these heavy duty uh, metal sort of a brass color um, and they've been you can see from the outside they've been well staked into position so that they're they're nice held nice and rigid um, and the front uh, connecting plate for the wires you can see the same sort of material and there's a bit of um, gap in around it so air again can flow in and out around it some of the motors we've seen uh, this plate in the front is actually taken up all the space and blocked any air that can get in so that's very good as well you can see the stator very easy to measure and it's one of the latest uh, stator designs that has got the epoxy insulation green on the ends it uh, goes all the way up to the top unlike the much more which was professionally stopped halfway so you can actually measure the lamination width if you measure this lamination width here you'll have to compensate for the green epoxy on the end which make it slightly longer um, otherwise it's, uh, three screws hold it in from the front sometimes they go in from the back and um, feeling it very very high torque rotor like the previous motive it's probably got a very high torque rotor they seem to like that um, now the weight, uh, I can weigh all three of these and I'll record it. Um, motors are getting lighter and lighter in weight as they improve the manufacturing uh, and eliminate some of the unwanted parts. So um, it's 156 grams, near enough when it stops moving about 156 now I've recorded the weights of the previous ones the much more flatter was a hundred and uh, much more flatter was 148.5 which is still the class leader in weight but it's still lighter than most that went before which tended to be in the 160 odd gram weight much more is is much better at the front with the airflow in this area but at the back uh, it's got holes but not as the the R1 has got sort of holes front and back and the motive has got these big holes front and back so I'd say 
not much in it, but the much more in the motive. Slight, slightly more air grabs. I measured it much more before. It was 148.5. Taking the motive apart, it's a nice simple construction. Uh, the the centre part, the um, this is a push fit, so I'm not going to push the stator out, but you can check out the wires and everything, see how it's made, and the soldering, see how well it's made. Those are the heavy duty rivets to hold the plates in position and check out underneath uh, the center board seems to be held on a little supports quite firmly uh, no insulator so they designed it so that uh, it can't short out on the back ring and it's got a machine front part uh, three steel screws and the rotor itself says motive on it and engraved on the end and on the centre part it says MOV1340 so we we'll just check uh, the grouse it's got quite a lot of uh, little spacers on it which you don't want to lose yeah, it's one of their uh, heavy ones like the previous motive. They were about 15, over 1,500 gauss, so they've dropped it slightly. It's now, as you can see, uh, about 14, about 1,500 one way, about 1,490 odd the other way. So it's uh, north and south are quite well matched. I just check the state of diameter. It's uh, near enough, just under twelve point five, which it should be. And the length, I should imagine, would be it was about twenty, just a uh, twenty-six millimeters, near enough. State of length is quite easy to measure due, because of these massive holes, but there's some green uh, epoxy on the end is going to make it slightly longer, so it's measuring about twenty. 0.5 but you've got to allow a bit for the epoxy the R1 taken apart um, again it's, it's a centre part with the stator pushed into it uh, the front aluminium uh, the sensor board with a ring a supporting ring a metal clamping uh, part and there is this uh, th very thick insulator as well which goes on there um, now the rotor, it's engraved with the code all the way around the little aluminium bit and the length of the R1 rotor near enough is about, it's about 24, it's about 24 millimetres, you can't measure it, it's dead accurate because uh, you can't get it on the ends properly and it's, uh, it's a good 12.5 Five. Gauss of the R1. Hmm, strong, fourteen ninety. Similar to the motive one. Fourteen ninety one. About fourteen seventy five which is not as well made north and south as the other one. They should be the same, really. The other one stator length, um, I can just get this in. They're about 19.49. Looking at the R1 while it's apart, it's got the very large ring in the front, which I don't like. It's completely blocks any airflow going in that way uh, you've got a small gap obviously around the rotor but compared to um, the others the plate is much smaller and the air can get round that one on the much more and on the motive one uh, there's a gap comes round you can see that goes round through there which is better when you've got the end on this one 
it's um there's no gap at all only through where the rotor is The R1 on this end, they don't use the rivets, uh, so it, it can move backwards and forwards, but it does have this very large insulator, which will push on there and hold it in position. Though I don't like the insulator because it is an insulator and any heat on these parts can't get out, whereas on the... Um, on this one, for instance, the motive, you can see that plate through the hole, so heat, again, and airflow can help take the heat away, which is a better design. The R1 shimming on the center is about as close as you can get it without touching the uh, sensors, so they've done a good job on that. State of resistance of the new motive very low, 0 0.039 to a 0 0.039, 0 0.040. Okay, the R1 resistance, 0 0.038, 0 0.039, so even lower than the motive. And the much more. Much more we're getting about. Oops. No four one. So the winding on the R one is definitely the best. I've set the current draw to six amps by adjusting the MBL timing and measuring the KV. Um, it's very uh, low KV, which is suggesting it's got a very strong rotor. So it's only three oh eight four, and the revs are down compared to uh, the much more and the R1 but I'll show you the chart in a minute let's just measure the timing okay the timing uh, 50 51 50 so extremely uh, good sensor board um, probably one of the best we've seen. The timing as marked on the end bell is almost spot on at about the 50, just over the 50 degree mark so it's very accurate the uh, graduations on the end bell. Just set up and tested the R1 at 6 amps to get the KV. Just looking at the timing it's not as good uh, as the uh, motive one. It's quite a way out, 46, 48, 51. But the KV uh, came out very high, um, so over 3,400. Three of the latest design motors, 17.5 turns for 2017. I've uh, tested them, checked them over, and looked at all the differences. And uh, now I've got the chart here with some of the test results and we can see which one is the best or which one is be ideal for you. So, let's look at the chart a second. I've tested previous motors a lot and we know how they perform on the track. So, I set them at 6 amps for comparison purposes and measure the KV, which is... Um, derived from the voltage and the revs they achieve. Now I've got the, this is the much more one, that's a sting version so ignore that, much more R1 motive, I uh, did the team powers uh, previously as well. But let's look at the three tested today and especially the motive one which is the latest one I've tested. Now the biggest difference normally between these is the strength of the rotor because all the stators now are being wound uh, very tightly very short wires as short as possible and given very low resistances although the R1 is the class leader with a 0.038 ohms beating the motive which is 0 0.040 and the much more which is 0 0.041 um, 
the weights have been coming down as well with the much more uh, the lightest at the moment uh, only 148 and a half grams the others aren't far behind but the um, motive is uh, eight grams heavier anyway the, as I said the rotors are the main differences and the rotor strength now the motive like previous motive uh, is a high strength not quite as high as the last one I measured which was 1550 gauss this is a 1500 gauss which is a strong rotor nicely made north and south poles almost the same it's the legal size just under 12.5 millimeters slightly longer than others the magnetic part um, the R1 but that had a, a strength of uh, nearly 1500 which is surprising because of the revs it does about 1475 one side and 1491 the other side um, whereas the much more was quite weak in comparison it was under 1400 only 1368 stroke 1350 so it's quite a, a weak rotor compared to the others and will mean uh, it'd be a uh, very revvy good top end but might suffer in the bottom end so looking at the KVs what is surprising is that the R1 has such a good KV for such a strong rotor 3426 I measured whereas the same uh, very similar strength rotor in the motive was way down only just 3084 the much more 3585 because that would be partly due to the weak and rotor so what does it all mean well the motive is a very torquey motor uh, the the strength of the rotor and the low kv means it's going to have a fantastic bottom end great for twisty tracks small tracks medium sized tracks they get and it, it will gear well even if you get the gearing slightly wrong it's going to pull very well but the top end you can get the top end out of these motors but you have to gear it with such a low final drive ratio it will generate heat and the bottom end will suffer to get the top end speed now the R1 now we know these motors win A finals and it's a very good performing motor it's got a strong motor so it's got good bottom end it's also got a very good KV. It's got so it means it's got a very good top end as well. In fact, it's um, a very impressive motor all round. Now the much more very high KV. So if you get the final drive ratio right, which means you have to run a higher ratio, which is, means a small opinion. And if you it's if you get it right, it's very very uh, fast at. Um, at high speed and uh, keep if keep momentum going it's a very zippy motor but if you've got a twisty track it's not going to be as punchy as the other motors but it's still winning a finals a lot of people like it especially smooth drivers and it does get have a very high top speed so there's a choice of three all of these are very good I would say the motive probably not ideal for long fast tracks um, I think uh, to keep up with some of these other motors you'll have to gear it uh, very very hard indeed and um, it wouldn't be the choice but for other tracks it'd probably be brilliant so those are the latest motors they're all um, nicely open construction for keeping cooling keeping the heat down which is the thing that always causes trouble and um, they've uh, kept the weight down as best they can and uh, they're all doing pretty well I think in uh, in the design much more I'd say still looks the most uh, fancy out of the designs the R1 and the motive again similar so good motors all three any one I think could win an A final or um, 
compete at the highest level.